today I had decided to do a sit down and explain about my failed plants but Isa couldn't let me record so I decided to do a voice over hi guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't kindly subscribe so today you can see i took this video two months ago it was so green and that's when i started my vegetable garden you can see we prepared the, the land and we started planting you can see here we planted kales and spinach As you can see, we planted a lot of kales and spinach. The ground was wet and also we were receiving some rains. So you can see the soil is wet. I'm planting spinach. We watered them and we did this every day. We watered the plants every day. So here two weeks later they were doing well they were ready to be eaten you can see the spinach is thriving and also we were still receiving rains so they were okay they were doing well fast forward two months later everything is dry you can see no nothing is green everything is so dry the place is so hot we are not receiving any rains for about two months you can see we had planted my vegetables they are no longer there they dried up i really tried to save them i really tried giving them water every day but the sun was so hot and everything died but i didn't give up i looked for another way of farming that's when i went to youtube and watched orina from kenya he's doing sacks and containers so that's what i'm going to do today and i'm going to do it with with you guys watching i've never done this this is my first time i just watched some videos on youtube orina dominics you can check him out he's explaining everything so very well so i'm trying to do everything that he's doing and see if i'm going to get some good vegetables because i still want to eat fresh vegetables from my garden so today i'll be doing it with you so join me as i do it step by step i'll try to explain everything that i'm doing so here i'm cutting a sack into two pieces because here is where we are going to plant our vegetables i'm not going to plant them on the ground it will be easy to water them here and to retain water because it's still very dry no rains so i'm cutting so i've cut the sack into two So I'm going to be starting from scratch guys I'm planting seeds not seedlings like before so I'm cutting about 10 sacks because I want to plant several vegetables I'll be doing cabbage I'll be doing coriander pepper so here you can see we are in the chicken house we are collecting chicken manure because we will be mixing the chicken manure with soil so here i'm collecting some chicken manure So according to what I watched on YouTube, 
you put some small stones in the sack before you put the soil so here i'm collecting some small stones to place in the sack this is to ensure for good drainage So now here we are mixing the soil, the good soil, with the chicken manure. So we are going to mix the soil and the chicken manure. So this is the chicken manure that I collected from the chicken house. You can see it's good and dry. These are the small stones. Guys, you can see how dry it is. It's so dry and so hot. So this is the soil. So what I'm pouring is the chicken manure. Make sure you mix the manure properly with the soil. So I'm mixing I'm mixing the chicken manure with the soil. So after mixing the soil and the manure, it's time to put them in the sack. So the first thing we are going to put is the stones, the small stones. We are going to put them at the bottom of the sack as I am doing on the video. We are putting small stones at the bottom for good drainage. So I will be planting several plants. I'll be planting coriander, kale, spinach, beetroot. That's why I'm putting them in different sacks. You can start with one sack. But as for me, I am planting different plants. That's why I have different sacks. So what I'm putting is sand, a little sand. After the stones, I'm putting sand. So now I'm pouring the mixture of soil and manure. I used chicken manure. So I'm putting soil and chicken manure. That's the mix. That's the last thing I'm putting in the sack. So 
we're just removing maybe big stones and sticks in the soil so that the little seeds can thrive You see I've prepared several sacks because we'll be planting several plants. The dogs are always with us, <laughs> hanging out with us in the farm. So after the soil, we poured some water, poured some water in the sacks. You can see the soil is wet. So now the soil is ready for planting. So these are the seeds. We are starting with coriander. We are just going to sprinkle on the soil. So the second seeds we are planting our green bell peppers, also known as capsicum, sprinkle on top of the soil. We are going to repeat the same process with all the seeds. Then sprinkle some soil on top. The soil that is mixed with manure, the chicken manure, you sprinkle on top of the seeds lightly because the seeds are small. So I repeated the whole process with all the seeds you can see above. Then we are going to wait and see after several days, I'm going to record the whole process. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe, like, and share my video. Kwaherini.